then all the circuits need to be destroyed. The fan attaches directly into the cage, and it has a nice silicon pad for extra cooling. The tilter cage actually gives you a nice thick grip for better ergonomics. Once you attach the fan to the cage, you power it through USB-C, and you're going to be able to get longer record times with your ZV-E1. I'll be doing a full review soon. This is the tilter cage and... Okay, that's nice, but is that all you got? This is extra photo. Let's find out. Okay, so I had this idea before I made this video. Then I found out about Telltale has already made a similar product on the market. Then I went to check more information about this Teltat cooling system and the price was which is about 54.8 US dollar and so today in our video I'm going to show another solution which only costs you about 8 US dollar okay so let's check more information about this Teltat product as you can see this product does requires extra power to power these products on and second you have to lock it on in order to use it when it is locked on your Sony camera like this and your screen will be stuck and Tiltown of course uh, offer a no solution like you can flip your cooling system like 90 degree and your screen can be turned off but the problem is your Tiltown is still here it's, it's like it's not going anywhere so if you want to put your camera back to your camera bag you still need to take this off of your camera or the, the tilde will be always be right here so so yeah that's not very convenient at all in third the cage was not included so you need to pay more in order to use this product anyway so that is why this tilde product doesn't influence my intention to make this video so let's see about my eight dollar solution let's go so this is called the semiconductor cooling which is really effective for temperature control and this one was designed for iphone like this you can stick its magnet onto its service and that is really convenient and you could attach magnets onto its little piece of accessory so right now i'm going to put this on on my sony a6700 let's do it that's a little bit bigger than what i was expecting so let's cut it off just a little bit just cut it off i think it looks a lot more better now so yeah let's attach this onto the surface yeah let's do it yeah, let's attach this onto the surface okay so that is how i came up with the idea if somehow I could make my A6700 that could attract the magnets like iPhone, then maybe this idea could work. So, like that. It's really easy and like that, just like that. It's really easy and it's really quick. Like there's no trouble for that. And if you want to close your screen up, just take this off and voila! everything is just as easy as it seems this little magic stuff just cost you about eight dollar i mean eight us dollar of course attach detach attach detach attach see that is really easy let's just have some little test with this semiconductor cooling 32 32.7 temperature okay so let's attach the usb type c cable right here see how fast this little stuff could cool down okay let's see okay, right now okay as you can see it's 28 already okay the temperature goes down like crazy fast 22 it's really cold on surface already okay let's see 21.2 okay see okay wow it's 19 it's 18.4 very crazy fast okay 17 still goes down omg is 15 this little stuff cools down really fast so 
it should be very effective for your A6700 and we will see that. Let's check the temperature. It's 28, we're good to go. So right now let's go for the round two, which we will use the semiconductor cooling for our A6700. And we're going to use our FX30 to record all of this to see how long can it go. So let's go. Jaron and Dan didn't have that issue when recorded with 4K60 and 4K24P. Personally, I didn't have that issue as well. I only have that problem with 4K120P and of course with continuously recorded with that 4K120P. And normally most of the people won't record it 4K120P continuously because like who would record it 4K120P continuously? Like, like who? You are the movie director. Why do you choose this, like the, like this consumer camera? You should choose something like this cinema camera instead. So yeah, that's my answer. And yeah, that's today's video. And I hope you find this video helpful. If you like videos like this, you can leave your comments down below. And if you like my channel, you can always click subscribe and turn on notification bell. And thank you so much for watching. I'm Romus. Peace out. Attach, detach, attach, detach. Simple as that. <laughs> it didn't really fall off. Okay. Oh, okay, so yeah, it's pretty sticky. Yeah, detach. Close.